and this time I want to talk a bit about because now I am a neat. I've been a neat for like I don't know since the twelfth of December. So for fifteen days I've been an official neat. Um. And to fill fish, and there was someone else who left a comment about them being a neat, but I think they have removed that comment. Uh, because I can't find it, but... How do you get mo motivation? Because these last 15 days, not only have I been, you know, sick, and it has been a bit worse. That's why I didn't do Advent tea calendars, I'm like, I'm not doing that. I, I don't feel well, I don't have the mo any type of motivation. And I just don't want to do it. But how do you actually do things? Because I'm pretty sure that when I start become getting a bit better, I'm sure that I will. My motivation to do things will come back. Because at the moment I have no motivation on the video game. I'm like, fuck it. I, I have no motivation to do that. I have no motivation to do anything. As soon as I try to start something, I just say, fuck it. Like, f how? How do you... Because... Now when I'm neat, I can choose what I want to do. I can't, and what I want to do... And... Fuck, I, I don't know if I want to specialize in anything. That's what I'm trying to put out, like... Stop saying like. I don't want to really specialize in anything. I did have before, like, <laughs> um, things that I wanted to specialize in, but not anymore. All of that has just gone away. Now I just feel <laughs> kind of empty. We'll see how how it is in in the future, but, yeah, I want to start getting into Toon Boom, let me see, I, I do have internet at my hand, might as well use it, um, Toon, yes, Toon Boom, it's some, it's an animation pro program, that I kind of want to try out a bit because, well, the new My Little Pony movie is gonna come out in Toon Boom, and and I heard that I was like, all right, I'll look into it a bit, and it seems like people enjoy it and like it. So I was like, hmm, maybe because I I am interested in animation. I've been for a long time, so I thought that would be semi interested interesting to get into, to just do super amateur uh, animations in Toon Boom. Be I mean, one problem I have is that I can't do any artwork or anything. Um, I have a pro I have hard problems actually keeping still, because I shake, I shake a lot, and I often get spasms in my muscles that just come and go. I mean, doing digital, the spasms, I don't think would be that much of a problem. Because if I do something and then I start spasm, you know, you can just control Z, control Z, you just, you know, just go back a step. So, that is not as big of a problem. But then, it <coughs> when it comes to actually doing any kind of game design problems, like, I have no actual uh, motivation or interest in doing programming <laughs> anymore. I'm like, man, I mean, that it comes and goes, comes and goes. As it is right now, it's like, fuck, I don't want to do any type of coding. So, yeah. And the videos, it also comes and goes. I want to do semi-reviews and whatever, I mean... Tavi, I think, yeah, wants me to review Bible Black, which I might do. I might do Bible Black. I have seen all of them. Um, I haven't played the games, however. I probably never will, because Bible Black isn't really something I'm super interested in. Um, but I might do a review of that. Lucy, Lucy, 
everything is like, I might do it, I might do it. I probably never will, but I might do it anyways. But if I would do Bio Black, I would probably want to have some more experience under my belt. I've never done any reviews, alright? The hentai reviews, the mostly recommendations. The book, or the Warhammer book reviews, they weren't reviews. They were just thoughts and opinions, you know? Uh, and also, I don't believe in uh, what's called subjective reviews, or I think a review needs to be opinionated, so that's how I would go into it. I think, bi or bias, I think bias is like the most important thing that you need to have when doing any type of reviews or anything. You need to have a bias or something. Well, no one. You don't really know, so... <coughs> so yeah, back to, back to the point. How do you... motivation? I just don't have any, any motivation to do anything. And I'm probably going to have to start trying to get some knowledge to do things, because... I mean, now when I'm neat and don't go to school, I don't even get that 1,050 that you get here in Sweden from going to school, uh, Lazul. 1,050 kroners, it's not much. Um, a lot of people will say, oh, in Sweden, we get paid to go to school. To just make people think that, oh my god, you get paid a living wage, blah blah blah. Nope, I'm gonna convert it into US dollars and we'll see how much it is. But it's not much all right 113 dollars a month it's more than nothing it's more than americans get i'm sure i'm sure americans get nothing so uh, it's it's not a complaint it's <coughs> it's something it's better than nothing yeah, and that's just for going to school uh but now when i'm a neat we're going to have to redo my social papers and all that and I'm stuck in the fact that, because of the fact that I have a ME, myalgic Andro, blah blah blah, but he also believe that I have something else, or something else, or many more things else. Because when they do tests and things on me, they can see that there's something wrong, but they don't know what it is. So, so some of the doctors believe that it's not one disease. It's probably a culmination of several diseases that just fucks me. And because of that, it's so it's much much harder to actually get any type of social security or it's called social security or any help from the government here in Sweden. I mean if I didn't speak any type of Swedish, if I didn't if I wasn't born in Sweden, I'm sure it then it would have been much easier, you know. <laughs> then there wouldn't need to be anything wrong with me. I could just live off and get paid more than my mom gets from welfare. It is so fucked. There's some neighbors around here. They don't do anything. I mean, they don't do anything. They... There's nothing wrong with them. They get paid so, so much just because they don't speak the language and they came from another country. So... Yeah. And then, people like me get fucked. That, and that's so weird how the laws in Sweden work, In the people that need help will most often not get help, and the people that don't need it will have it much easier. Because of the color of their skin or their religion. I mean, one of the biggest mistakes we did is that we were born with this, even though I don't consider myself white because I'm a mongrel. Uh, and I, I don't consider, you know, southern Europeans white, even though there are Caucasians. But I mean, are Indians white? No, they're not, even though they're also Caucasians. The same with Arabs, they're also Caucasians. White people, for to me, are 
Northern and Western Europeans. Uh, people of that. Not is it called race? Yeah, I guess ethnicity or not nationality, but ethnicity. You know that gene from those genes, those what are called consider whites. People from Southern Europe and the Mediterranean and all that, I consider them. If you can go with colors, they're more. And this is just when doing color to very broad strokes. I would say they're more olives <coughs> and then filthy which is basically I'm 30% Middle Eastern so I mean come on uh, brown people so I mean 30% Middle Eastern well not 30 I think it was 29% um, obviously brown 1% uh, yellow and the rest olive well not really the rest I have some uh, how much was it? Four percent, Western and North, Northwestern European, whatever it was. So I'm mixed. So I should I should get welfare. Why am I not getting it? Because I'm not brown enough. My complexion is not right. <coughs> so we'll see how things go. I mean. I'm getting so tired and it's only been 11 minutes and I must go to sleep soon but <sighs> yeah we'll see we'll see what I'll probably do to earn to get some income in I'm probably going to have to start Painting a bit more and then just sell, just sell my miniatures, my figurine. Never the ISA collection. The ISA collection is never leaving. I'm right. I'm... They're never leaving. I'm keeping them until I die. Which I mean, let's give it five years or something. <laughs> let's be realistic. It's probably five to six years. Yeah. Oh, I'm feeling a bit dizzy. And I really hope it's picky picking 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 up my audio because I haven't been talking that loud and it, and it's been quite far away from me. I mean All right. So I run here to my body. So that's maybe like 45 centimeters away from me. I do have a ruler so I'm gonna measure out and see if it's correct. Nope, it's not 45, it's probably 35 or something. No, it's 40. So in the middle of 45 and 35 uh, centimeters away from me to the microphone. And if I just talk in my, how, this is how I normally talk. When I'm not talking in front of cameras, this, this is my normal voice. So, the voice I use when I talk in cameras are much, much louder than my normal one. If I was going to talk normally, it's... Det här är hur, hur lågt det är att prata normalt. Det är inte så högt jag pratar normalt eftersom det tar för mycket energi att prata. Och det är kanske därför, ja... <laughs> det är så här det är. Omega pratar detta. And, I mean... I kind of have like the omega, <laughs> omega speak speak patterns, I guess. In fact, that I don't sp I don't speak loudly, but I don't I'm not beat as like oh no, I'm so sorry, uh, oh I'm so sorry, blah blah blah. I guess you speak in the volume of a beta, but you sp <coughs> but you just speak for yourself, and that is the omega lambda me lambda way. Maybe I should just start championing out. The Omega Lambda way. How to live like Omega Lambda. Do not be a slave to anyone but yourself. I mean, being a slave to yourself is good. And I, that's what I'm trying. That, that's what I'm trying to go for. Being a slave to myself. I'm, I'm, 
Yeah, and it also feels a bit worthless. Um, I mean, I am genetically inferior, so it's not surprising that I am worthless. But I want to help my mom out with a lot of things. I, I can't. I can barely help at home. I can't cook very often. I mean, I, I need to do more cooking videos so when I get feeling better I'll I'll try I'll try to do more uh, because at the moment I only have the energy because the amount of energy it takes to stand up because cooking is very very labor intensive I'm sure the people who have cooked it takes so much energy and right in the middle of it I just I want to keep doing it, but I don't have the energy, and I just, I just die right in the middle of it. And it's like, well, now my mom is going to have to do the dishes. We have a dishwasher, but it's not just as simple as just throwing it in. It's just more problems for my mom. Uh, I mean, let's be honest, I'm like an economical drain. I mean, I'm pretty sure all kids are. But I'm sadly an adult now. I'm 20. I'm going to become 21 next year. So... Yeah. Hmm. So I don't know... How, how things will go. I've never really wanted to make YouTube a career. I think I'm, I'll probably just keep this as a hobby. Because I don't know how how are how am I going to be able to make money from YouTube? I I don't do good enough videos. I don't have the the genetic. <laughs> I'm too genetic and genetically inferior to actually have the energy to put in in making videos. I mean, if I would put in amount of effort and energy to make videos, where I would be like, that's a pretty good video. It would probably be like one video each three months. I think is how long it would take for me to make do a five minute just decent review. It wouldn't be good because I have never done it before. So I'm sure the first 10, 15 would be pretty bad. And it would probably take like two to three months month each so that's already you know <laughs> more than more than two years so yeah it's probably not an option for me <sighs> so I don't know I, I do because I have been saving, I've been saving and saving all the money I've gotten from going to school and all that. I've been saving up. <laughs> because my output and the amount of money I spend each month is maybe like one, two hundred kroners. Most of the money that I spend is just when I buy things like the figures and all that. I don't have a high maintenance. I mean, most things like clothes and all that are years old months the only thing the reason why i why i feel like i have so much clothes is because my mom just keeps buying 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 not as much anymore because let's be honest financial ruin uh oh but one good thing <coughs> and one sad thing I also I guess is that who knows we might move soon because some people came in uh, I think a week when I was feeling bad so maybe two weeks ago and I looked at our house and was like uh, or not our house our apartment it's like oh this is valued at like uh, how much was it two and a half and this is and that's without the renovations and all that like holy shit 
And my mom bought this place for 1.8. And that was like five years ago, four years ago. So from 1.8 to 2.5 without doing renovation work. And I mean, especially in Sweden, you know, there's a housing bubble. There's not enough places to live for the people living here, which is going to bump the price up. Because if you put something up with two for two and a half, the price is going to go up. Uh, because people need places to live. So they will, they're willing to spend a little bit more. Um, and also because this place that I'm, we're living in is about to get fiber, or is planning on getting fiber. So, I mean, that's gonna bump the price up as well. Then if we were gonna sell, we would obviously renovate, that would also bump the price up. So I told my mom, mom, you should have been a, what's it called, a house investor. Which my mom said, yes, I would. <coughs> because back in the day, my mom told my grandparents that they should have bought places in another place here in Sweden. Because when they, because my, my grandparents, they got a, a bit of money from working for so, so long. That they had a little bit of money that they could buy a house. My mom told them, you know what? Buy three apartments in this area. You can live in one, and then just keep the rest, pay the rent and all that, and then sell them a couple of years, because they had the money to do so. Uh, because it's a, because in a couple of years, the prices for them would go up, because it was super, super cheap back then. You don't understand. The, the places that are there, it was like 250000 <laughs> for apartments. It's like... You can buy three of them for 750 and then the rent was so cheap. If they would have done it and then just paid rent up until now, I think the only cost would be like 1.3 million for all the apartments. Guess how much those apartments are sold? Well, not really, we're gonna not say now, but years and years ago, the price went up from like 250,000 to like 1.7 million it exploded so yeah it would have been like could have been a trust fund not a trust yeah we could have been a trust fund baby because my mom wanted to invest into early on into google and apple and all that i don't think it was google i think apple was one of them and it was some other companies but my mom never had the money <laughs> To do any kind of investments or anything. Yeah. So I could have been born a trust fund baby. Which would have been great. Uh, but then again. If that happened. I probably wouldn't be here. Because my mom probably would have never been with my dad then. So. Yeah. <laughs> low lives hang with low lives don't they? Uh, even though my mom was super hard working. And my dad wasn't. It was pretty weird. I think my dad was like a semi shad. So I mean, good job. I I know that most of my gen my inferior DNA comes from my mom. Yeah, uh, which is just how DNA works, don't it? Um. Is there anything more I want to talk about when it comes to motivation? I don't know. Oh yeah, talking about motivation, uh, let me show you something. Ah, oh, fuck, wait. Wait, might as well. Alright, here in Pokemon Sun and Moon, I actually f caught a Pokemon that had Pokerus, and what I have been doing is, I have been giving every single Pokemon I have caught a Pokerus, <laughs> you know, um, yeah, so I mean, if anyone wants a Pokemon with Pokerus, and you have Sun and Moon, yeah, I'm sure I would be able to do a trade, 
I mean, it would obviously have to be on times where it would, you know, for me when I have the, what is it called, <coughs> the motivation to do so. But yeah, there's a lot of Pokemon here. I have a Pokerus and I've also been being nice and just a wander trade and giving away like, I think, like almost 20 Pokeruses. Pokerus Pokemon through Wonder Trade. So, yeah, Pokemon Sun and Moon has been very, very fun so far. I haven't even got, I have not gotten that far. I think I just defeated Lusamine, alright? I just defeated Lusamine the first time. And I have 95 hours of playtime. Most of it, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure like. 25 to 30 hours of, might be, you know, semi-AFK with me, you know, just training up because I don't only have one team and I also don't use the experience share. Uh, I have an A team, a B team, a C team and a D. <coughs> an A team, a B team, a C team and a D team. So, I mean, that obviously means... A lot of grinding, a lot, a lot of grinding. So most of it is that, and I mean, a lot of it is just me backtracking all the time, trying to find things, because I'm not looking up any walkthroughs, any let's plays or anything. I'm completely blind into it, looking for anything I can find. And we'll see, I've been EV training, like, I think I have like, at the moment, 60 Pokemons that maybe in the future I might use for <laughs> when I play online, you know. Uh, and I'm not a try hard when it comes to the Pokemon I'm gonna use. So the Pokemon I will be using are probably gonna be Yu Yu, underused Pokemon, just this regular Pokemon, you know. Here, like for example, Box 8. Oh, uh, box seven and box six, a Pokemon that I so far are planning on using for competitive battling. So I mean, it's probably also why it takes so long for me because I don't do it fast. It takes such a long time for me. To actually do things even in Pokemon. Because I'm just relaxing. I'm listening to something in the meantime. And it's been a, such a fun game. Pokemon Sun. That's what I have. It's been good. Um, I might even say that this might be. So far. Maybe the best generation. So I mean. When it comes to the actual gameplay, I feel the Pokemon are cool as well. So it's not really anything to complain about right there either. It's just been a fucking good game. So, good job, Nintendo. Um, <coughs> the only problem I have with Pokemon Sun, however. It's the Gen 1ers, alright, I hate Gen 1ers in anything, so, 